maybe one of the best survival knives in the world at this moment. The A1 Pro. Hello YouTube, Dutch Bushcraft Knives here. Today I'm going to do some batoning, feather sticking and chopping with the A1 Pro. As you can see I have sharpened it, uh, gave it a nice mirror polish again, like, uh, like I did on the F1 Pro. Again, I'm really, really pleased with the sharpness the COS2 has uh, after sharpening. And uh, of course the A1 Pro won't get as sharp as the F1 Pro because of the geometry, obviously. The apex of the bevel is in a larger uh, angle than uh, with the F1. This is a chopper slash batoning knife around survival knife so uh, you don't need that very thin thin edge uh, what I've also done is I've added this uh, lanyard which uh, I crafted with a paracord bracelet as you can see this this burn piece is where um, I've um, glued the paracord together by burning it and I have strengthened that with this paracord bracelet so this will never come loose so this is safe I can put my hand through here this sits comfortably uh, on my wrist and now I can uh, hack with a lot of force on this knife taking the knife holding the knife on the till now it can get really, really whack it. So yeah, really important to have a lanyard on this um, A1. And what I noticed uh, on the F1 Pro and on the A1 Pro is that the sheath closes on the place where the lanyard hole is. So that's not really practical, but it has enough room to go a little bit underneath there but as you can see it does fit but it uh, takes a little bit more strength <laughs> I think this will uh, eventually go well because of uh, this will stretch a little bit so sharpness I can pull the paper paper is a little bit moist because it was on the ground it's a little bit harder to show you but I cannot make I cannot make these circular motions with the A1 because of uh, the thickness of the edge but um, what I can do is make these waves even on this already cut paper As you can see, very sharp. No problem shaving at all. It came sharp from the factory, just made it a little bit sharper. Decreased the geometry a bit. So yeah, let's start chopping. All right, so this is quite the tree, about fist thickness. Let's see how this knife uh, performs. So there you have it, pretty powerful knife, did a good job, it feels definitely more powerful than, uh, than the regular A1, because of the front heaviness, feels like a good chopper, was comfortable in my hand, and I see 
zero edge problems. So chopping, very nice. Felt very powerful in my hand. Had a good swing, um, no hot spots. Very good impression. Alright, now let's make a point to this stick using the A1 Pro. Very controlled and still powerful. This knife even has enough power to drive this stake into the ground enough to stand there quite firmly, quite sturdy. So this knife is heavy enough to use as a as a kind of baton for uh, maybe. Uh, Hammering in 10 pegs, wooden 10 pegs, or maybe a piece of wood for your snare trap. So, yeah, regular, regular A1. Definitely, you can, I think you can even hear it, it has less whack because it's also quite a bit lighter. So, yeah, there. This knife is a better hacker slash uh, chopper. Now let's uh, baton some wood with this. This is oak. It has been there for a very long time, so it's really hard. So let's baton that. No problem. Now we're gonna give it a kind of sharpness related test. See how it feather sticks after these um, kind of abusive tasks. It's convex, it's really rolling over, over the wood, which gives it a really nice feel. So, the knife has absolutely no problem making these very nice looking feather sticks. Absolutely, very fine feather sticks, needs a fine sharp edge, which means this knife still has a lot of sharpness. And let's check that out. Let's check the sharpness after all these quite demanding tasks. No resharpening, no stropping. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? No edge problems at all. It's still crazy sharp, man. The COS steel is awesome. I already knew that from the uh, F1, but it keeps surprising me. Because of course I couldn't do hard chopping with the with the F1, and this proves that this is kind quite a tough steel. I don't really listen to uh, what they say about a steel on paper because. Um, it also uh, depends on the heat treat it, is, it has been given. So for example, um, on paper, CPM3V has a really, really high toughness. 
but uh, if it has the, the wrong heat treatment it will still chip quite easily. Yeah, this COS steel seems to be very sturdy. This back feels kind of dull, so I don't think this will uh, be a good scraper for, for, for a fire steel out of the box. It gives sparks, uh, not really the kind of rain of sparks you, you want to make a fire in a hard or cold situation. What I'm going to do in the near future is I'm gonna grind this a little bit to make the corners of the back a little bit sharper so it can do a better job on the fire steels. But it does give sparks, so that's nice. Yeah, it definitely does the job this. So, thanks for watching. Oh yeah, my first impressions of this knife are really good. I'm uh, really hyped about this knife. The regular A1 was my favorite. And uh, this might soon take over the place of the regular A1 to be my new favorite knife. Um, the COS steel was awesome. Um, I can't really say that is my favorite steel uh, because I just haven't used it enough to make it my favorite steel. The first impressions are good, but to really give conclusions about the quality of a steel or heat treatment, uh, you have to experience the knife over over time. So yeah, that will still take quite a long while for me to really know what this knife is about. But first impressions are really good. And yeah, definitely worth my money in my case. Of course, these tests can give you an idea about how this knife performs but it doesn't prove how a knife performs because I all the tests were too short to really give uh, to get a good conclusion about the knife but overall I'm, I'm really pleased with this knife and the sharpness it still has is just amazing so yeah I'm really happy with this knife maybe one of the best survival knives in the world at this moment a1 Pro The Beast Over and out Please like and subscribe Alright, small update I cleaned up the knife completely uh, Washed it And There are Almost no scratches on, these, on the mirror polish Of course there are some slightly visible scratches But to my eye it is still a good mirror finish so um, even the softer outer layers of this knife are quite scratch resistant in uh, the case of wood of course because sand particles will always make deeper scratches but yeah I'm, I'm really pleased with this knife it's a power knife <laughs>